Let me also say this on a side point since I'm talking about reaping what you've sown. This is not the same thing as karma. The world uses this phrase karma. It's not the same thing though. First things first, what is karma? Some other people believe karma is the sum of a person's actions in this and previous states of existence, and it plays a crucial role in deciding their fate in future existences. This concept of karma emphasizes the previous states of existence, which can only be explained by reincarnation. Right, you don't live multiple lives. You live one life, and you reap what you sow in a good way or a bad way in the form of what you've sowed it. Okay, it's not the same thing as karma. But you're going to reap in the same way as what you've sown. So what Jacob sowed was deception. What you would expect to see from the word of God is what? He is going to reap a punishment, which is deception, which is lying. Okay? Notice what it says here in verse 23. And it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to him, and he went in unto her. And Laban gave unto his daughter Leah, Zilpah is made for an handmaid, and it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this that thou hast done unto me? Did not I serve with thee for Rachel? Wherefore then hast thou beguiled me? You tricked me. You were dishonest. You lied to me. Now, did Laban do wrong? Absolutely. Did Leah do wrong? Absolutely. Don't tell me Leah's the godly wife and Rachel's the ungodly one. Leah lied to marry Jacob, that's pretty bad. I don't see either one of them as necessarily being the most godly. We, both, we see both of them make major mistakes, major sins. But Laban beguiled. He tricked Jacob. He said, it's not fair. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. I mean, it's a law that is going to take place. It, it's like the law of gravity. It's something that's going to take place. It's a fact. It will happen. Certain things you know, I mean, if I drop this, it's going to hit here in a second. Everybody knows it. And when it comes to committing sins, you will reap a punishment from it. Because whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And in the same way, he was tricked. He was lied to. But think about it on a deeper level. Jacob stood right in front of Isaac. And Isaac did not know it was Jacob. And Leah was right there before Jacob. And he didn't know it was Leah. I mean, isn't that amazing? I mean, that is in the exact same way you have reaped what you've sown. Now, part of it, you would say, they probably look similar. Part of it was is probably dark. But probably the big part is you reap what you sow. So this is going to take place. It is a punishment that's going to happen. I'll be honest, I didn't even think about that till recently, that literally, she's right there, I mean, and he doesn't recognize her. Well, same thing with you and Isaac. You were right there, right in front of his face. He felt your arms, and he could not tell it was you. And you know what? The same thing is going to happen to you as a punishment, because whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap.